Richard Murphy, you're a tax expert. Why is tax important? Oh, tax is the thing that shapes the society we that we live in. There is nothing more powerful that a government has available to it to shape the economy, the nature of society, who has what, than tax. So tax is at the absolute core of all of politics. The European Commission have made a number of proposals recently in relation to tax. Do these proposals go far enough? The EU is taking a more active role in tax. It's trying to tackle tax avoidance, in which case it's following the OECD. It's trying to improve the data available for those of us who are interested in tax, country by country reporting. Now, it, it's tackling the role of the professional advisors and trying to make sure that they comply with the rules. All of these are welcome steps in the right direction. Are they really innovative? Are they really bold enough? Well, look, my answer is no, uh, because I would like them to go further and faster. And um, part of my role, as an academic, as an activist in this area, is of course to put pressure on them to do that. But I recognize their constraints. Are they steps in the right direction? Undoubtedly. Will they have to be replaced with, by other initiatives in due course? Yes. But will we eventually arrive at a place where tax abuse is much harder than it is now? I'm sure we will. Are there any obvious changes that you would make to the current proposals that are, all, are being negotiated that are already on the table? There are a number of changes I would make to the current proposals. For example, the measures being proposed to tackle abuse by tax advisors assumes that the n large networks of lawyers and accountants are all located in national organizations. That's not true. If we look at the big four firms of accountants, for example, they're actually international networks of firms. Why aren't we registering the network rather than the UK firm, the Belgian firm, and the Romanian firm? That doesn't make any sense. Um, with regard to things like country-by-country country reporting, the measure is simply too timid. So the data that is necessary on intra-group trading is not going to be reported publicly under the EU measures. So, yeah, it's all going the right way, but it could be so much better, so much more easily. And the CCCTB is the other obvious area where there are problems. The accounting is not good enough. While the idea is sound, Right now, if implemented as it stands, we'll simply see tax arbitrage moving from the tax system into accounting instead, and we'll still end up with competition and abuse. So these loopholes have to be changed, tackled, closed in advance, rather than wait for another few years for them to be realized in retrospect.